<laughs> Hi. Can you see and hear me okay? There's tons of people in here. Hello to Boots and Bounty Homestead. Lila Newton, good morning. Annie Ann, Jean, Mary. Thank you guys so much for coming in here. Oh, my Alabama Farm Life, good morning. I haven't watched your little greenhouse video yet, but I plan on doing it today. Annie Ann loves the thumbnail. So I tried to make that for the banner across the top of my, my page, but it won't accept it. It has to be a certain dimension, and I don't know where to go to create one of those, so I need to get with somebody that does graphic arts. Just trying to stay warm, Lila. I know, so you guys are getting a blizzard, huh? How much snow have you gotten so far? Put some shorts on, please. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. It's not even morning. It's afternoon. <laughs> Thank you, Annie Ann. Okay. So I'm in front of the window, which gives good light. I, I have trouble. I've told you guys before, we have all these awesome can lights. But when me and Jeremy go live over on the center island, it's grainy. So my desk is right here by the light. So I went and got one of these ring things. So when I go live with Jeremy in the kitchen instead of sitting here with him. Um, hopefully we have better light behind us. No streaking. Did he? I told him to put pants on. Sorry, boys love to walk around in their underwears. I don't even, I don't even know. 16 inches so far, awesome. Well, stay safe, don't go out. No streaking. So how is your week so far? I know it's just Monday and I know it's just 12 o'clock. Last week, I did not do a 12 o'clock Monday live because the kids have been sick for a couple weeks. I know I've told you that a million times, but it's true. It kind of just it throws off your whole like week and month and all that good stuff. But it's most important just to be with them and to cater to them and make sure that they're they're good. Boots and Bounty. Hello, Jamie with the clean crew. Hello. Thank you. My hair looks like you, Jamie. Doesn't it? When I was doing it, I couldn't find hairspray. I could only find spray gel. And I was like, I look like Jamie today. Happy month. Kimberly Amber. Hi, babe. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Happy Monday. Okay, yeah. He was in his underwear. I told him not to do that, Lila. Hello, Lazy Sea Homestead. Good to see you again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Lazy C Homestead's in here, and um, she was doing the chicken uh, chicken egg challenge or the hot sauce or whatever you want to call it um, challenge. I didn't even give it a name. It was just like a chicken stew, hot stew challenge. So um, I've gotten eggs. I have not been able to contact her yet and ask her if she's gotten any eggs. Lazy C Homestead, have you gotten any eggs from the hot chicken stew? Hi, Charlie. Good afternoon to Pafford Homestead. Hello. Hi, Bo Brown. How are you, my dear? You guys, Bo Brown is um, Alex Sawyer's little brother um, from Sawyer Ridge. If you guys want to, I'll say hi to Bo. How are you, Bo? Parker's asleep, but Preston just went outside, honey. They like to play together um, on the video games. They are extra stubborn. So mine are too. I mean, like totally. And I don't have a lot of chickens. You know, I think like fully grown hens, I, I'm probably at like 14. Um, I had been at 10 for so long, but then I had four grow outs from last summer or last spring and summer. Um, I constantly incubate chicks and this and that. And, you know, I, I sell them when they're little babies sometimes just because I have a hatching addiction and um, I don't really need or want all those chickens. But I have such a hard time keeping them alive once they're teenagers and before they go into the big coop. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Sorry, guys. I've been sneezing a lot today. I don't know if it's just what it is. Excuse me. I know it's gross when people blow their nose, but my nose will be sitting here running if I don't. 
Uh, sorry, Ridge Life. Hello, Tim. How are you? Can y'all give my sis a sub and like, Bo? I'm pretty sure all of us love Sawyer Ridge, and we're all friends with Alex and um, Jacob already. But if you haven't already, Bo wants us all to give his sis a like and a sub. You're so cute. We've been buying a sick, uh, we've been babying a sick lady for sour crop this weekend. Oh, that stinks, Boots and Bounty. Mary's Ranch, what's up, chat? Hello to Bo Brown. Oh, see Bo, there's Tim with Ridge Life saying hi to you. Annie Ann said, I subbed from the beginning. Me too. I've been on there for, what, a year or two? No, probably two years. Yeah, that's true. Matt Payne wants to know who saw your ridge. Bo, who saw your ridge? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But um, I totally forgot what I was talking about. Isn't that awesome? Let me see. If, oh, we we're talking about the chickens. I think part of my problem is why it would feed them also, and I didn't think that they got a lot of peppers. Okay, so Lazy Sea Ranch. So um, what I've gotten is an egg a day. So it's from the same girl. I could tell by like the color and the size. It's the same layer because, you know, you could tell. Um, I haven't been out there. I didn't check yesterday in the, what's it called? In their little nest. And I haven't gone out there at all today to check them. But um, I will. I'm going to be building a PVC pipe um, feeder to go in their coop. I don't generally feed them in their coop. However, um, it's just a struggle with those goats. If you watch my videos, the goats just, they don't let me go to the chickens. And I've actually thought about moving the whole coop outside of the, the paddock. But it's just extra protection having my coop inside where the goats are because they have an outside fence and then they have their fence for their coop. And then Bear and Bond are always in there. So as far as predators, knock on wood, um, I haven't had any problems with them because of that. Tim lies. <laughs> Matt and Tim going at it. Um so I think you probably saw last week, we had a whole bunch of quail hatch and they're so cute. And uh, those are from Narrowways and so are the eggs. So I went in there and I had a, let's see, Saturday, I had four baby chicks hatch, real cute. One was all yellow. One was um, kind of the chipmunk look. One was black. And I think the other one was like a lighter chipmunk look. And then yesterday I opened it and there was like a whole bunch. There was like 17 in there just little chips and I put them in with the quail cause they're, you know, all going to stay warm and whatever, but you see this little quail this big and it makes the baby chicks look huge, even though they're not and they're little newborns. It's adorable. Oh yes. Lazy C. I, <laughs> I got to get you this big girl quail. Yes. I forgot about that. That's funny. I was the first one to like their first video. That's awesome, Bo. Um, Biddy Boo, I think I counted 17. That's a recount. I've had two pass. Um, they were the smallest of all of them, both of them. Um, one passed yesterday, one passed the day before. So they were both like two to three days old or so. But um, And I don't know. But they were really tiny compared to the rest of the quail. So maybe they just didn't have a good start or maybe they were um, – week from the beginning, but they popped out of their eggs. And you guys, I did a dry hatch, just like I've been saying to um, everybody. That's all I do is dry hatches, and everybody is completely fine. Um, I think there was 49 eggs, so if I got 17, that's not even half. But who knows? You know, who knows if they were just not fertilized or in transit? I mean, they came in a car from Wichita, so in transit or, you know, who knows? Who knows what the reason was? Hello to the Wide Family Farm. How are you? They are pretty small little animals, Bo. Yep, they are. So um, I have a couple things that I was wanting to talk to you about. I'm about to post a video. It was actually uploading. I mean, I was down to the second right before I went live. Um, I have to put my videos on Preston's MacBook, and I edit it because now I can have the cool transitions and the cool writing because the iMovie on my iPhone doesn't work like that. And then um, I am done with that, and then I upload it, and then I airdrop it to my phone, and then I take my phone, and I put it outside, I take it off my Wi-Fi, because it takes like 24 to 36 hours if I use my Wi-Fi, because it's so horrible. Um, it's just weird. And then within like 10 minutes, it uploads. Well, I was right down to the wire, and I was ready, and I put my end screen, and then I like, 
I didn't do my thumbnail yet. So be wa waiting um, after this video. Please go out and watch that video. It was um, an off the ranch video. It was Preston's um, makeup birthday day. So we took him to Boot Barn and he got his first pair of cowboy boots. He's just freaking so cute. And then we went to Osaka's. And so I filmed a lot. I mean, it's only a 15 minute video, but I filmed a lot at Osaka's so other people can see like Hibachi Girls, how fun they are. Um, that's where he picked for his birthday. So it was super Super fun, and the food is always so good. And he got lobster and filet. Biddy Boo, I try to hatch once, and the chicks were uh, getting shrink wrapped. Biddy, that happens sometimes to mine. And I just kind of check it, um, you know, a few times a day. And if I see that that inner membrane is actually shrink wrapped and completely dry, you can like dip your finger in water that's warm, and then like put it on there, and it absorbs it like a napkin, and then you could peel it off. Morgan's Happy Place. Hello. Thank you so much for coming over and joining. Good to see you. Bushcraft family. Hi. How are you? I hope I haven't missed anybody. Twinbrook Acres. Good to see you. Hello. Bo Brown, I was on the cruise ship in 1995. Someone at the dining room table ordered quail for his dinner. He was shocked on how small it was. Yes, they're tiny, you guys. So Preston um, harvested some of our male quail that we had at our old house um, because one... You can't have so many in a cage. Two, they fight. Um, my females actually fought, but they will scalp each other. So we picked the prettiest, best size one to keep with the five hens. And then he, um, I think he harvested two or three. And we made him for dinner. I didn't try him. You know, Preston, I don't try the things he wants to. He wants to eat raccoon and possum and bobcat and coyote. And he doesn't, though. Believe, he doesn't. But he leaves, like, the stuff in my freezer. So... I will try quail if I take care of it and if I put it on the Traeger, but hi, mom. How are you? The baby's still sleeping and Preston's outside, but I'll let him know when he comes back in. Is Cornish hen and quail the same? I don't think so. I think a Cornish hen is like a bantam size hen or um, they're a lot bigger than a quail. I mean, the quail, you would do a, um, what is it called? A spash, a spatch cook on them. Fishcraft. Um, wide family has had Cornish hen. Oh, Annie Ann just said hi to mom. Hello. Annie and my mom lives um, over by you, uh, 111th and 145th ish kind of area. Anyway, so I have the quail, and then I had all those chicks hatch, and they're still in the house in the pink tub with the heat lamp. Not in the house. They're in the house, the shop house, Jeremy's shop. So I'm going to bring them out and put them in that big trough. Um, if you watched last week, I did the video about um, just all my different brooders for different sizes. So I have, uh, let's see who's in there. Robertson Belly Acres and... I think the pain families chicks i'm only down to four when i put them in there a few of them passed away like three of them on the first night they went behind that swinging feeder back like this and i ended up putting a big heat plate in there and they just sat there and i think they just got cold and died where the rest were under the heat plate you know guys sometimes baby chicks i'm not trying to be mean they're stupid matt Payne, you're not going to break me of that dry hatch bring me some turkey eggs let me dry hatch some turkey eggs that'll be awesome Gardening and the Good to see you on our live. How are you? Anna said uh, she's never had domestic quail or rabbit one day, I hope. Um, Annie Ann, once, what, six to eight weeks to fully grown on these quail. So once they start producing eggs, I can incubate them and get babies, no problem, or just give you some of the big ones and then you could do your own thing. I, uh, my mom and dad gave me like their guinea pig cage and I'm thinking that's going to be a perfect cage for some quail once they get bigger because right now they're tiny. Um, and then I have that red cage that I put those teenager chickens in, but my quail won't be in there for another couple months. I can't, you can't fix dumb. I'm not sure what you're, sh oh yeah, yeah, on the chicks. They're all like that. Oh, wide family said that um, they just subbed you. They're probably talking 
to gardening in the north. Have you finished the new coop made from vintage windows? Okay, um, so it's a greenhouse. I have not. This week, if you guys are around in Oklahoma, I know that there's really bad uh, weather up north in Pensy and New York and stuff like that. But um, it's been really cold and very, very windy. So I haven't been able to do anything. I went and I bought the cement blocks that are going to go under the quarter, the corners. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up. It'll be about half an inch to an inch on all four corners. And then later when I apply the um, R panel, which is the silver kind of paneling that's rid, uh, ridged, when I apply that, I'm going to put that down to the ground. So it's going to lift the wood up so it's not sitting in the, uh, you know, the water when I water inside the greenhouse. So I got paint. I've got the cement. I found the most awesome, awesome deal on hinges. So hinges are about $5 each because I'm going to hinge a lot of my windows and I'm going to prop them up to let air. It gets to over a hundred degrees here. So in the summer, it'll be like 140 and I won't be using it during that time. But, um, I got hinges for a dollar The uh, the lows in, was it? Oh, the Lowe's by Woodland Hills Mall had them um, like clearance because they're remodeling. So they have all kinds of sales. So I got them for a dollar, about 20 of them. I don't think I need 20, but you could always use a hinge. So I got the hinge, the paint, the cement blocks. What else did I get? Oh, I need a doorknob to keep that door closed, but I think I have a leftover one. I don't know if you can see, you know, it's like the metal bar that you turn for the house. I think I have some leftovers from the house when we built last year, but um, I have not. I also need a nail gun. Or I could pre-drill holes in the vintage windows and uh, then screw them in. So I haven't got that far because it's been very cold, very windy, and it's rained a few times this week. Today is actually the first day the sun's out. I haven't seen the sun in a week. Yes, Annie, and extremely windy lately. So my the first thing besides lifting them up on the blocks, Jeremy's cat with the extensions on the top and lift up the frame for me so I can get those blocks. I bought eight of them. One side is on the ground. The other side's up with a few blocks right now of wood that I need to do because, of course, my whole property slants down to the canyon because um, we're on top of the mountain. And then um, the next step would be to power wash. That's what I'm doing. Is I, and I'm going to do that today. I'm going to power wash all the wood just because, I mean, it's new wood, but it's been sitting out there for months because um, I wanted to do this build last fall. And I'm going to power wash and let it dry um, for a day or so because It'll be really saturated. And then I'm going to do white semi-gloss paint. Oh, me too, my Alabama life. I'm so excited about it. Great idea. Greenhouse, even better. Yes, yes. It's so exciting. Yeah, I know. A dollar is a great find. Like a total. I probably should have bought 20 more. I'm glad you and your son are better, wide family. I, it's been the same around here. The kids are fine back to doing so much better. We're working on a greenhouse right now. Cool, Bo. That is awesome. I know Boots and Bounty and Cass, she says that makes her want to build hers now. She's been collecting windows to build her own uh, window window greenhouse. Biddy Boo. Well, hon, I'm going to take a plane. I'm going to take a nap. Okay. Thanks, Dana. Um, have a great nap. Thank you so much for coming in. That's awesome. So I haven't got that far, but um, I think I can make a lot of progress this week. I need to buy a nail gun. And we went to two or three Lowe's because Jeremy had to get tools for his new job um, on Saturday. And there's all kinds of nail guns and they're not cheap. So I can probably go to like Harbor Freight and find a cheap one, which is fine if it's cheap and it's fine if it doesn't last forever because how often and when will I ever use a nail gun? But I'm kind of feeling like I just need to do pre-drilled holes and do my three inch um, wood screws. But I don't want the old frames to split because some of them, they're just, they're old vintage. I mean, they're probably from the forties or fifties, but um, I just don't know. Screw the windows in because you're so windy. Yes. Hi, Heather. <laughs> uh, good to see you. Uh, Rosie side. Where are you? Rosie side farmer home said, hello. Good to see you. I've got 36 people in here, you guys. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Um, okay. So, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Cause I really don't want to go get a nail gun. Um, some of them are four, five, six hundred dollars, and I'm not doing it. I am trying to do the least expensive vintage window greenhouse, and I. But I don't mean I want to build it cheap, and I don't want it to look like poop. I want it to look nice. I have it in my head. I mean, I draw pictures of it all the time. I just sit here and show you pictures of it. But you know, I got to pay for paint. I've got to paint for the pay for the cement. I did not pay for the wood or the windows. I got to pay for the text that um, what's it called? Trex that goes on the top. 
see I'm always drawing like pictures and ideas. Um, another thing that I'm going to build this week See, I just, I always draw little pictures. That's what it's going to be like. I thought about doing one like um, Jess and Maya's. And they're just really cute. But I really love A-frames. They're just my favorite. But um, anyways, I got to do that that Tex uh, plastic poly that goes on the top. That's expensive. That's going to be about three or $400 just for that. And then you have to buy that ridge liner stuff um, that it sets down on. So you can seal it. And then I'm going to have to do some spray foam for the inside. I'm going to have to do some liquid nail on the inside of the windows before I screw them on. I'm going to then go back and I'm going to caulk all the windows. I'm not called glazing. I'm not going to scrape off the old caulk because they are old windows and it's really just a dried, dry rotted putty um, that they used to use when they glaze them. So I'm just going to go over it. I already bought um, a paintable white acrylic um, indoor outdoor use that, that makes it. I'm going to do all the windows in that and let it dry and then I'll paint the windows. So paint the frame, put on the windows, glaze the windows, paint the windows, put on the roof. But, um, I also like what I can do with while it's waiting to dry, um, with the power washer and also waiting to dry with the paint, I could start making my indoor. Thing. So I've been watching lots of videos and I really think I'm going to use palettes. Um, it's really nice when you do the frames and do the hardware cloth. I've also seen people do the table frames that have, um, hog panel. So they cut the hog panel to 18 inches. I'm going to have 20, uh, two and a half feet on both sides. When I walk in, it's eight by 12. So I want to walk in and have everything like that. And then when I open the door on the right, I want to have my potting table. So what's that, what that's going to be is, you know, just on the table, it's going to have uh, three sides and a solid bottom and, and three solid sides. Um, so I could keep all my compost and worm castings in there. Um, and use them all the time. I'm so sorry. Oh God, Matt, that would be awesome. I'll text you when I'm done on here and we can talk because I've been looking and it's really expensive. Thank you so much to the Payne family. Um, Lila's saying, do we have Tom and Rhonda? Oh, at home with Tom and Rhonda. Hi, how are you? Talk to a window installation company for advice on mounting antique windows. That's a good that's a good idea, um, Tom and Rhonda. Not sure who I'm talking to, but um, how's Braveheart doing? I need to check up and see how he's doing. He's a cute little baby goat. My little Bambi Hope, you guys. She's so cute. Um, now she comes up to me and follows me around anytime I'm in the paddock. And, of course, I've got to hold her. And she started, like, putting her head down in my coat um, or underneath my uh, scarf. She's so freaking cute. Oh, did I miss it? Hi, Roland. Getting it done north of seven. Hello. Okay, it's Tom. Hi, Tom. With Tom and Rhonda. Um, hello. Oh, Ivy Sporge and Homestead. Hello. Good to see you. Let's see here. I get a little distracted because my ADD is like squirrel. Oh, do you have an air compressor? Okay. Uh, really? Thank you, Annie Ann. I do. Um, we have the big one in Jeremy's shop, and then I have, like, the pancake one that they used to take uh, racing with them. I have that in my shop. But, yeah. That might work. I might have to borrow that because it's not its not going to be a long-term thing that I really need him. Hey, Tom, do me a favor and kiss all those puppies for me. Oh, you just love the puppies, Tom and Rhonda. On my way out, got to go to work. Some of us haven't retired yet. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in, Twinbrook Acres. It's so good to see you. Have a great day. Drops is in here. Hello, Drops. How are you? Matt really is a great guy, despite the Ron Witherspoon says about him. Yeah, Tim, you're right. Um, Ridge Life, he's a real, really great friend. He's always there for us whenever we need him. Um, he's always available to call in case I have questions. And uh, I like him a little bit. I like Christian and the kids a lot more than I like him, though. So I'll keep him around just to have access to them. I'm just kidding. I miss them, though. Luke and Kinley are so cute. Hi, SLR. Hello, Mel. Hey, Chrissy, we're here. Can't be too active in the chat today, but we'll be listening. Thank you so much, Mel and Gary. It's so good to see you on here. I'm the same way. Like earlier, I was on the chat. I was like, I love you. I'm listening, but I've got to do this editing and stuff. So I'm going to keep listening and I'll pop in if I have something to say. <laughs> and I put on my little earphones and I listen to them. So I didn't wake the kids up because I got sleepy kids. They're off school on Mondays. They have four-day school week. So look into shed kits. Uh, drops, you know, 
I will do that. I want to say I came across something and I looked into that. Sandy, hello, Sandy. How are you? Thanks for coming over. Pathways, Cindy and Gary, hello. Have our greenhouse ready. Going to start brassicas this week. Yes, I was on their live last night and I was just listening and learning. And, you know, one thing that Gary said and I thought about it a lot is when you garden and be self-sufficient and also want to put good nutrients into your body just due to different ailments and allergies, when you garden, you have to adjust your palate or what you eat to what you can garden for. So it might be things that you would never normally go to the store and buy or go to a restaurant and eat. That really got me yesterday when he said that. So um, you eat different things, but then you love them, of course. Like he said, he doesn't eat eggs out of the house. He loves the house eggs. Um, what was the other thing he said? He won't eat. He only eats his eggs and he only eats something else um, that they grow because, of course, they taste so much better. Ivy's homestead said, um, yeah, I still got to work myself into this YouTube thing can, can support. Oh yes. Uh, yeah. You guys, it takes a lot. Um, it takes a lot, you know, as you move forward in your YouTube journey and as you gain more subs and more views and you get more active and you grow, um, with your community and your friends, you learn so much all the time. So once you get monetized, you learn so much other things. And every day I learn and I watch lots of, um, what's her name? Catherine. I watch Catherine a lot. I watch a whole bunch of just YouTube analytics stuff all the time. If not, it's in the background while I'm cooking or whatever, but there's so much to it and you can never know it all. You could just keep applying the things that you learn and it does let you grow, but growth isn't as fast as you think it is. And then on the other side, what, as far as like making money to be retired or stay home or be a YouTuber, who knows? I mean, it could be, you probably will need about a hundred thousand subs if you want to do that, honestly, because the only way to make YouTube money is the ads. So when you're watching someone's video and you get angry or upset or skip forward or whatever, you get paid on the ads. So every, just, I'm making this up every I'm making up this amount of dollar. Every thousand views for all the ads in your video, you will have a CPM, which might be between $3 and $12. So let's just say it's $7. So for every thousand people that watch it, you can make $7. Thousand is a lot. I don't have thousands of people watch my videos. I have two, three, four, five hundred. Now my goat video has 25,000 views but people didn't stay long enough and they just watched it until the goat was born and they didn't watch the cute baby goats afterwards. So I have over 25,000 views on that video and I think it's made $3 and 24 cents so far. So it's not all it's cracked up to be. Um, just putting it out there. <laughs> you got to do it because you love it and you love the community and you're working towards your goals and growing. Okay, Matt Payne said they can come over this weekend and bring the poly. Um, okay, Matt, I've got I've got a birthday party at one on Saturday, but otherwise we'll be here. So if you guys want to come over Saturday or Sunday or Friday or whatever, that sounds awesome. Colleen, hello! It's so good to see you. I have not seen you on one of my live chats. So, uh, Colleen, it's a uh, for Qua uh, for Quarson. The Quarson, something French. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name. It's so good to see you. She is so delightful and happy and positive. Every day she'll put a comment on a video. Good morning. How are you? How are things are going? You just, you brighten my day, Colleen. I'm so good. So, so, so glad to see you on here. So happy. I want to say she's from Jamaica. Um, so it's probably an hour or two ahead of time right now for her. Green beans. Yep, it was green beans. Thank you so much, Cindy. Um, so Gary will only eat his own eggs and his own green beans. He doesn't like other people's green beans. My album, Form Life, the tomatoes are one of those. Yes, homegrown tomatoes are so much better than the store-bought. But sometimes you just got to get those little Tom tomatoes for salads and stuff during the summer. Tom says it really does take a huge commitment. Yeah, it does. It does to eat your own stuff and to grow it. Sometimes you get discouraged, you know, it gets real monotonous watering for an hour to an hour and a half for myself every single night. And I enjoy it. I put in my outlaw country or my violent femmes and I blast it from the barn and I drink a beer and I water all my plants and I really enjoy it. That's like my time. I do it about, I think eight o'clock because it doesn't get dark till like nine, nine thirty, seven thirty, eight o'clock every night. But after like months and months, it gets kind of, 
it gets kind of like, oh my God, I need to really set up something more automatic because um, I got other things to do and goats are screaming at you. The chickens are going nuts and you just have other things to do. I'm so sorry if I've missed anybody's comments here. I'm just getting off on a another subject, going down a rabbit hole. Lila said she's a big one about watching ads. If that helps, that's why not. Um, me too, Lila. So I always watch all videos for everybody the complete way through. And I watch a lot on the TV. So on the TV, you'll notice um, it's you have to go up and go to comments, and then you have to hit the thumbs up to like videos. But you can't actually comment on stuff. You could just look at their page. Um, so we completely, we always watch all of it. Um, I don't actually even skip ads unless it's those 80 minute ads or their 60 minute ads um, because that's the whole point is to support each other and watch those things. Yeah. Matt Payne said the longer the video is the more money, right? Cause you could do the mid roll ads. So they have ads that show up. Let me see where my screen is. They have ads that show up here. They have ads that can show up here. And then they have the little ones where like, where's my finger right here. It'll say uh, skip ad, but they're only five to six seconds. And those are really good, but you could do mid roll ads, which, I always just take my video and I put a mineral out here and then I put one in here and I put here and then I might go and put them between them. I kind of make it, I divvy it all up to be square and um, symmetrical. And sometimes it's just a banner ad and sometimes it's just a little pop-up ad up here. It's not a whole skip ad, but that's the only way um, that works. So lots of people do affiliate marketing um, and that's really going on the retiring because of YouTube. If you do affiliate marketing, that's really where you can actually earn some money. So you'll see on the bottom of my videos, I'll have links to Amazon. So I do um, get paid from Amazon whenever you click on that link and you purchase something. However, you do not have to purchase what's on my link. This is the way it works. If you click on a link on the bottom, it saves the cookies for 24 hours in your phone or on your computer. We all know cookies is just a website thing. It's free. This does not cost you anything. And this is a really great way. So just say you clicked on my goat care and you saw selenium and you just click on it and it brings you to your brings you to your Amazon. And you're like, that's cool. That's what she uses. And then later that day or in the next 24 hours, you're like, oh, I need staples for my office or I need paper for my printer. And you go in and you order whatever you want normally and you check out. The cookies still attached to your computer and still attach your phone to my affiliate account in QuickBook or in QuickBook. Sorry, I've got work on the brain in um, in Amazon. So it's what happens is when you check out, I might get one percent or two percent of that paper order or one percent or two percent of those staples that you ordered. Now, if staples are three dollars, that's you know three cents or. 30 cents. I mean, it's 30 cents and it all adds up. So it's so helpful if you guys um, on your favorite YouTubers, if you just want to pick randoms, just go to their comments, click on something from their Amazon, even if you're not going to buy it and then check out within 24 hours of your normal, regular daily Amazon activities or at Christmas time or when you're going to order for someone's birthday, because they will get one or two percent or so on different items. Um, now I, I've been doing it for three months. I think I've got 33 cents in there. And that was the first money I made was 33 cents. So you can't, um, get paid until you reach a hundred dollar saved, you know, like that you've made. So it'll be years before I get that. But I made 33 cents because my friends at Christmas, one of them clicked on it and then clicked out with them. So that's kind of how that works. Um, Gardening North. I've often wondered how the monetization works on your videos. I think channels need to grow naturally in order to be successful. Yes, I agree. Um, I agree with you, Roland, or I'm sorry, gardening in the north, um, at home with Tom and Rhonda. And don't freak out when the subs go up and down. It's a long-term average is that matters. Yes, Tom. So lots of people focus on subs and subs are important. It's really, it makes you feel so good. And like eight hours of work today on a video and editing and doing things around your house and doing things. Um, you might make $2 on a video or you might not make any on a video, but you might, be happy to see your subs rise. And then when your subs come down two or three the next day, you get sad. The subs matter, but it's the views and it's the amount of times it's showing up on other people's videos. And you really need to understand the analytics. Analytics you can't control, but you could do things better or different with your videos, your video titles, your video descriptions, your tags, your end screens, um, your cards. You could do so many other things that will help bring and keep people to stay on your videos, if that makes sense. 
Island View Farms, good to see you. This is your first live with us. Hello. Uh, thanks for subbing to my channel. New videos coming out today. Okay. You guys will need to go over to Island View Farms later today and look at their new videos. Make sure you guys go over and check them out. I uh, I found them yesterday and I subbed and said hi and uh, hung out over there. Colleen said hello to Tom and Rhonda. Blessings. Those respect my friends. Yes. Pain says, I used to place my own ads, but I've made more by letting YouTube place them. Yes. So you can do an automatic um, placement. And so what that is, is on your midstream, you just do, you just let YouTube do its own monetization scheduling with ads. And when that happens, they find, they take your video. It's all on computer. They don't show you. You just go and it's just there. They take your video and where there's long pauses or pauses between breaths or excitement right before something happens, you'll notice like right before a baby goes born, boom, an ad goes in because they want you to stay and watch to see the next thing. YouTube has um, their own computer programs to do that. So they find all the good points and that's where they put your ads. So that's what Matt is saying. Bounty, I'll let ads run, but Lord, then five minute ads. Yeah, I don't do that. Sometimes it's 60 minute ads and I don't do that either. I'll watch it for, you know, maybe 30 seconds and then I hit skip ad. I used to play, okay, uh, at home with Tom and Rhonda, same to you, Colleen. That, yeah, Colleen's so sweet, you guys. You need to go out and, and uh, give her some love on her page. And you could go back after this live and just fast forward through the live and, and see how to spell her last name. Um, F-A-R-Q-U-H-A-R-S-O-N. Colleen with one L. Um, and Ann said, oh, that's cool. I didn't know that's how it works on Amazon. Yeah. So it's called affiliate marketing. Um, so if you click on it, it saves the cookies in your phone or your computer for the next 24 hours. If you check out, it gives that person. And it depends on the item. But it's really safe to say 1% to 2%. So... There's higher percents that you could, the affiliate person can make if it's something like that Amazon made and Amazon, like clothing, you can get like 6% on clothing. Well, you might get 1% on office supplies or you might get 1% or 3% on electronics, things like that. So when you see these photographers and they're like, check the link below to my Amazon for this lens on this camera or check the link below for, I'm making this up for this, you know, they might be making four, five, 6% on it because electronics have a higher percent, but it's free to you. It's free to everyone. It's free to me to put it out there. It is completely free. It does not jack up the cost of anything on Amazon. It's the same exact. So if you have a, a full Amazon cart right now, I'm just saying, and you're ready to go. Nothing's going to change. If you go below and click on one of my things, I'm not telling you to, I'm just making an example. If you go below and just click on one of my Amazon and it takes you straight back to your Amazon thing and it shows you what I have on there for a goat or for a chicken. Um, cool. You looked at it, whatever you go over to check out, everything's still the same. So it's free to you, but it supports your YouTubers and it supports us to um, continue doing it and feel really good about it and know that it, it make it feel like it's worth it to us to choose this as our journey, I guess is all I should say. Um, pathways, lunch break's over, gotta go. Bye, Cindy and Gary, good to see you. At home, Toronto, Boots and Bounty, uh, let's see here. I can't figure out the whole sub thing because we got 20,000 plus views times the only 240 sub thing. Well, um, at least they're watching. Right, so I found a really cool page yesterday. And when I say really cool, they, spark my interest because they're very similar things. You know, homesteading is not just one thing. Homesteading doesn't mean you have goats and chickens and you cook. Or hunting is not just, I have deer on my wall. You know what I mean? So you got to try to figure out your niche, but everyone does their thing. So some people might do all homesteading, but they might really love to crochet, or they might really love to do arts and crafts, or they really might love um, hobby trains. I, I don't know. You know, everyone has their own thing. So I found this really awesome awesome family. Um, and I wrote it down here and, um, they do, they have greenhouse stuff. They have chickens, they have goats. They do some vlogging with their kids and stuff. And just like I do, like, just like me, I'm like, I love this. So I, you know, friended them and sub to them. They have 107 videos, but they had like almost 10,000 subs. I'm like, Oh my God, I've got almost 225 videos or maybe almost 250. And I don't, I've got 2000 subs. 
that's fine because um, yesterday, by the way, I just um, hit 250,000 views. So it gets really confusing, Annie. And to me, it's confusing. It's like I have all these views, but people don't sub, which is great. That's kind of what we're saying is it, it really doesn't matter on your sub count. So you're going to hear all these YouTubers say it doesn't matter on your sub count. Um, you matter. And we love you and we love our subs, but we also love our viewers. We love everyone the same. So just because you watch us all the time doesn't mean you hit sub. Here's a good example. We watch people all the time up here, right? Jeremy does. He watches that Whistling Diesel. He watches Tanner Fox. They watch whatever it is. Uh, Matt Payne, what's the other one he watches all the time? That one that I don't like, Danny Duncan, right? But we're not sub to any of them. And this is signed in under my name, under Chrissy. We're not sub to them, but he watches them all the time. And they still come up on his homepage when he turns it on, on the TV. And it's like Danny Duncan or or Whistling Diesel or Off the Ranch. You know, all these ones. Turkla, he watches Lunkers TV a lot. But we're not sub to him because it's recognizing that he's watching those all the time. And it's suggesting them to him. So they don't have our sub, but he watches them every day. So that's kind of how it works. It gets confusing. So that's when we say the sub count, if you're a creator, doesn't matter. That's why. Now, of course, if you have 100,000 subs, I was looking at a social blade just as an example. Somebody that has 100,000 subs and they put a video out, they're getting 1,000 subs per video. Somebody with, what was it? Like 44, was it the Stivers? I looked at one the other day. It, it might not have been them. Um, just as an example, someone with 50,000 subs and they put a video out, they might get 100 subs per video. So that's 100 more people that like them enough to hit the sub button and subscribe. And now it's going to keep showing up on their home screen uh, and be visible to them and might spark their interest in the future. So it's like a reminder is kind of how that works. I hope I didn't get into a rabbit hole with that, you guys. Um, hi, Ed. How are you? I've missed a lot of comments, so I'm just going to go to the bottom, you guys. If you have something that I didn't see that's really important that you wanted to like show me, post it again so I can uh, see it. Margie, hello. I have you. Um, I have you been looking at my Amazon full cart. LOL. <laughs> yep, yeah, it was me, Margie. <laughs> no, but like as an example, if you went to your favorite YouTuber and just clicked on one of their links, it'll save those cookies. And then when you click your full cart and you check out like you normally would, um, just say it's uh, north of seven. You click his, you go and you do it. He might make 30 cents on that. And it was free to you. And it's 30 cents adds up, you guys. 30 cents is 30 cents. Bridge Life, don't forget to place ads at the end of your video, too. It's not on default. That's true, Tim. So um, when you go to your monetization as a creator, I hope I hope all our friends that aren't creators are bearing with us on this. So when you go to your monetization, you hit on on the very bottom under manage mid roles. On the very bottom, it says end, end roll. Uh, click that because no matter what, it doesn't do it for you. You have to do it. Uh, Tom with Tom and Rhonda says, uh, the more videos you have, the more time they will be viewing your channel, increase your minutes watch. Exactly. So the more minutes watch, the more videos that you produce, it is, um, more people finding you with those words or those interests. So it's very true. It's very true. Um, Island view. I'm in Newfoundland, Canada. That's where they are from at home in Tom and Rhonda. Um, I made it to 455 subs. That's great. Southern word work. I saw yours the other day. It was three something, 370. 378. I think I looked at it a couple days ago. That is amazing. That's awesome. Thor Heaven Farm. Hello. Sorry. Thor Haven Farm. Good to see you. I haven't seen you on my live before. Welcome. Welcome. Um, I made it to uh, hello, everyone. Just stopping in for a quick hello. Hope all is well. Hello, Thor Haven. Thank you so much. We we're just having some great conversations about content. That wasn't my intention. Um, I was just going to talk about my week, but this is a really great conversation, you guys. Rich Life says, I get about $25 a month from Amazon affiliate links. That is awesome. Um, now, like what I do when I'm doing Amazon, I just, I, it's the same with if I just want to watch some videos, but um, also if I'm going to bed, and I know not somebody needs some views. Um, I bounce around to different subscribe, you know, subscribed pages that I'm on. The same with my Amazon. So one day I might as an example, go to Tim's with Ridge Life and check out on my Amazon. And next week when I do it, I might click on Boots and Bounty. I don't think she has one, but I might go to hers. And the next week I might click on uh, Jason Crocker's or the next, you know what I mean? So I just kind of bounce around them so I can support them because it is free to me to support them through their Amazon affiliates. A 
Lazy C, I'll have to research this myself. You did help me a bunch with the uh, tags and hashtags. My impressions have went up way since. That is awesome, Miss Kitty. That's awesome. Uh, Gardening in the North, Island View Farms. I'm in Ontario. That is awesome. Thank you very much, Lila. Tim, Island View. I got 11 subs now, so thanks all Paragon Ridge and all at and Tom and Rhonda. See, you guys, That's it's like a networking um, love journey of friends and community on YouTube. We're all here to help each other. And like I was saying earlier, you might find someone that really just hits you here and you absolutely love their videos and then you binge watch them. <laughs> That's helpful to them. But then again, you're learning. Like, who was it earlier? Someone said, I don't remember. Oh, Annie Ann said something about rabbits. I don't have rabbits. I watch Narrowways rabbits stuff. I watch Tim's narrow, uh, Tim's rabbit stuff. Um, I've talked to narrow ways about their rabbits. I don't want them, but I know a little bit about them. And if I did want them, I would start looking at all my friends' videos about rabbits. You know, um, I watch a lot of people. I watch the max. I watch divers. Um, Jess and Maya were on yesterday. Um, I found some friends through them. There were some friends on there that I was able to talk to. Um, I learned a lot with um, tomatoes on her. That's Roots and Refuge, which I'm sure you guys are already friends. Um, and uh, the greenhouse stuff. And I've learned um, how to make a hoop house from Stivers. I've learned how to do the vintage uh, windows through a whole bunch of other people. I think Citystead, the Citystead, I think I learned from them. Very cool, Chrissy. Spanish Homestead, I did a video last week titled Just Putting the Animals to Bed, and it's... Um, Good, so many views, and I did, uh, was walk around and did news, but yes, yes, and we love that. You know, we love it being homesteaders and being animal lovers and maybe living in a rural community, but think about the people that are in New York City in a high-rise building right now, and they're on their lunch break, and they're eating their sandwich and eating their chips. They long to move to upstate New York and have a farm, maybe with cows, maybe with horses, maybe they grew up that way, and now they work in more of a business area. You know what I mean? Like people love that. It sparks their interest. So putting the babies to bed, do it. People love watching that. You know what? I have a video. This is, this is a good example. I have a video of following Jeremy on the Bobcat through the woods. It has thousands and thousands and thousands of views. Now it was from a long time ago when I started YouTubing. I want to say the beginning of last summer because, um, Oh, my first video, uh, first one year video date is coming up, I think February 12th. Anyways, so it's from like the beginning of last spring or last uh, early summer. And he had been clearing all these pathways. You know, we just moved out here to the ranch and everything's woods and he's got the bobcat because he just got it. So I followed him on the trails. Sometimes he'd stop and he'd knock over a tree, but otherwise I just followed him real slowly all the way through the woods. It's probably a 15, 20, 30 minute video. I don't even remember. It has the most views. People just want to sit there and watch a bobcat drive through the woods. And that makes sense. You know who would love it? My nephew. It's a bobcat. It's a tractor. Little kids love tractors. Adults love tractors. People might feel that it's relaxing. See what I mean? Like, so putting the goats to bed is an awesome video. Jocelyn building the Daniels. Hi, welcome. I need to write that down. You spell your Jocelyn the same as me. That's my middle name, Christina Jocelyn, J-O-C-E-L-Y-N. That is awesome. You don't see that very often. Okay, back from my rabbit hole, you guys. I'll start reading Tom and Rhonda, Rich Life. Um, have a great day to Mary's. I'm sorry, Mary, if I missed you. Goodbye. Have a great day. I cannot find your channel, Island View Farm. Um, Island View Farms with an S, Charlie. Three different words. Ridge Life, for sure. Whether you have five or 5,000 subs, you're all beginning creators and can learn from each other. Exactly, Ridge Life. And you preach that every week on your on your share. Um, if you guys haven't gone to Ridge Life, make sure that you go out and actually sub him so you're alerted. Once a week, he does a grow and share where he will view and show your videos to all of his subs and and ask them to go out and like your page and enjoy your videos and and um it helps everyone become friends in this community it's an amazing um share and grow or grow and share i don't remember um, which way it is raise life thumbs up everybody sheep i'm sorry island view i'm just saying animals is awesome um i'll try again i love you farms okay C Home says we have big things happen here this spring with rabbits. See, so if you guys want to look and watch with rabbits, go to Lazy C Homestead. Um, I didn't mean to talk about rabbits. I, I wasn't trying to be negative. I'm just I don't have rabbits. I was just saying if I did, I'd start looking for my friends. 
videos. Uh, Lila says Stony Ridge Farmer is a great channel to learn from. Josh is such a great guy. He is. And the poor guy just got over being uh, sick. I watched Stony Ridge as well. Um, I don't catch too many of his things. He is bombarded with messages. So I just kind of listen to him. It, it's really hard to keep up with his messages going so fast on his live. So I just listen to how he answers and what he says on his. Tom and Rhonda just sub to um, Southern Woodworking Homestead. So there you go, Ed. There's a new sub for you. Oh, Pat for Family Found Island View Farms. Awesome. Annie Ann, I watch YouTube mostly to keep up with all the wonderful people I've met, um, both in person and virtually, my awesome family now. True. I feel the same way, Annie Ann. Um, Jocelyn building the Daniels. How neat is that? I know, right? It's just not common. Uh, Tim with Ridge Life said, uh, I know, right, Annie? Uh, let's see, Paffers, we've been gaining almost 100 subs a day. Hello, that's amazing. Let's talk about the Paffers for a second. You all know that they are my loves, right? I talk about them in my videos. I talk about them on my lives. I share their jellies with anyone that comes over to the house. They know it. I share it with them. Um, but the Paffers had a short. Okay, you guys, let's talk about shorts for a second. The Paffers had a short. I don't know how the hell this happened. Excuse my French, but... Brandy somehow in her tire ran something over and it was leaking air. So she brought it home. Charlie took it off the car and he saw where something silver was sticking out. So he grabbed whatever it was that men grab and starts pulling it out thinking it's a piece of metal, shrapnel, something, right? He starts pulling it out and she's recording and they made a short of it. And he's pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out. It is a tool about that big. They have over a million views on that short, you guys. A million views. Who does that? Tom Tom's out yelling at me. Tom Tom! He hates noise. So, hello, the Paffords. That's amazing. I've never seen a million views on shorts before. You guys need to go watch it. It's P-A-F-F-O-R-D space homestead. That is amazing. I'm so proud of them. That is, ugh, it just makes me excited. I'm all, like, sweating. Well, maybe it's from the heater that I'm sweating. I don't know. Oh, let's see here. And late to the show, Christian Payne, we were talking about you. I was saying that I'll keep uh, Matt around as my friend just to get to you and the kids because I like you guys better than him. <laughs> Can't find Island View Farms. Oh, Island View Farms. Island Space View Space Farms. And their, um, their icon is white. And it has a black animal in the middle of it with some black uh, writing. But it's a white circle with a black icon in the middle and writing. I can't click on it right now to tell you exactly what it is um, if you guys want to find them. Oh, Annie Ann just posted their link. Thank you, Annie. There you go. If you look at Annie Ann's post, this is Island View Farms. That's their link, everybody, if you want to go over and check them out for Island View Farms. Uh, Tom and Rhonda says, I said, uh, I said PRR on one of your lot." on one of your lives and you giggles and said we are pure yes it was you then i didn't remember who did that then i saw it on your videos we thought it was cool thank you tom and Rhonda. yes so, so it was you so since somebody said prr that's what tim with ridge life calls me everyone calls me prr so i actually changed my little icon i thought it was when i'm commenting on videos they'll say prr so i use that a lot now and i changed it um i use it in my videos everything thank you tom and Rhonda. That was you. I love it when people remind me of stuff because I've got such a bad memory. Like somebody named the goat Bambi and somebody named her middle name Hope. I don't remember who it is. I didn't write it down, but her name's Bambi Hope. Hey, if you were the one that named my goat, let me know because <laughs> she's so freaking cute. Thank you so much, Tom and Rhonda, for reminding me of that, Tom. That's awesome. So did you, um, there we go. Haha, <laughs> everybody does. I know, right? You're just, you're just the hot wife that stays in the background. That's why we all like Matt. <laughs> Spanish Homestead. Uh, just sub the Island View Farms. We'll check you out after. Awesome. That's so nice, Spanish Homestead. Paffords, I just found out we can share lives on our community tab. So I put our live on the tab. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Little Frenchie, hello. How are you? Good afternoon. Short lunch break here. Awesome. Jean, hi. Shh, I'm listening through my AirPods at work. Okay. I'll whisper, Jean. I'm just kidding. I just, I'll try not to yell so no one can hear. <laughs> Ridge Life said, howdy to little Frenchie in big Texas. Uh, Jean, was it you? Okay. So was it the Bambi or was it the Hope? 
And I, I hope you all know that I appreciate it. I just don't have a very good memory. Okay. Do you guys have any more questions about my stupid knowledge of analytics and um, monetization? Do you guys have any more questions about that while I'm on that tangent? I know that we kind of get off a little bit on other things, but what I... Um, Pierre, we found out about you when we saw your... You spilled the chili on the stove. <laughs> Yeah, it was chopped meat. Um, or I don't even remember. Yeah, I think it was chopped meat. Stuff happens. <laughs> I just left it. Oh, Bambi. Yep, yep. Jean, thank you. So, yes, you know I love her. And you know I love her name. She's so cute. I wish she wasn't all the way in the barn or I'd go get her and she'd just sit here and love on me. She is adorable. I have her on my phone. Let me uh, go grab it real quick so you guys can see Bambi. Okay, you guys, everybody's talking about Bambi. If you haven't seen my videos or you haven't um, tried, here's a cute one. So when I feed the goats, you see how crazy they are all the time, no matter what, they're crazy. So she doesn't get to eat like everybody else unless she's by herself with her mom. So every day I pick her up and I walk around with her and I carry a bucket and I hold the bucket and I just let her eat out of it while I'm just walking around talking to everybody. So um, I went <laughs> in the barn and I sat down. I don't know if you could see this. I sat down and she's on my lap eating out of her bucket because she's so freaking cute. You see her? There's my Bambi Hope. She's so cute. She's my sweet little baby. Anyways, I love her so much. <laughs> you are not stupid watching you. Love watching you anytime. Thank you, Jean. Got it and subscribe to Connie. Hi, Connie. Thank you so much. You guys, we're going to be helping Island View Farms so much. I hope it'd be really cool to see how many subs and how many uh, more watch hours they got now that you guys have found them and love them. Um, at home with Tom Miranda. Look, she looks like Braveheart. Yes. Now, Braveheart's tiny and I think he has longer legs. Um, but I saw that picture of you holding him and he had his little baby onesie on, uh, Tom, and you're giving him kisses and holding him on the couch. So you know exactly what it feels in your heart. Whenever you're holding those sweet little babies. Did you guys all see Tom and Rhonda's or uh, on the community page where he's holding him? Was that on yours, Tom, or was it on Jared Crocker's? It was on somebody's community page. It was so cute. Ours cry, uh, Narraways. I'm here for a moment. Hey, Narraways. So many of your eggs hatched. The chicken eggs and then, um, of course, the quail. I want to say there were 17 quail. I've lost two, but... Um, it was on Jared's. Okay, Tom and Rhonda. Yeah, you guys need to look at that picture. It's so cute. Um, anyways, so the quail hatch. I have so many chickens. I'm going to take them out to the barn today. I'll make a video. Um, I kind of have a series of videos that are coming out. Oh, that's what I was going to talk about with what are you doing this week. So after this is over, I'm going to make a thumbnail. It'll just take about 10 minutes. I use Canva, by the way. Since we're talking about YouTube stuff, this is um, this is my job. So I like to talk about my job too, right? So my job is to take care of the house and the farm and the kids and um, do YouTube. And it's such a blessing that Jeremy provides that for us. So it's so, so, so much fun. There's a lot more to it than that. I don't just sit here. Um, I help Preston with all his stuff. I go hunting with them. They want to do this and this, you know, little boys. I want to do stuff all the time. So, oh yeah, narrow ways. Yay. I'll send you a picture here in a little bit, Ricky, of the babies. They're so cute. Um, so right after this is the video of taking Preston for his birthday lunch at Osaka's, which is a bocce grill, and taking him to get his first cowboy boots. So please make sure that you go out and watch that. That's a vlog style video. I was doing vlog style videos right around Christmas. Um, it was suggested by a YouTube friend about just doing vlogs also with educational stuff. So I just haven't done vloggy stuff. I kind of do more centered around a, a subject like a chicken brooder or hatching quail or, you know, I try to do that but sometimes i'll throw a vlog in there so that's our off the ranch vlog so that's coming out right after we're done here i have um a gluten-free meal that i made a couple weeks ago i video everything but i don't always get to it because then i find other things i kind of put it on the back burner so i have a gluten-free shrimp alfredo video coming out for my gluten-free husband that is amazing and i'm starving I haven't eaten yet right now um i have one that shows jeremy clearing some stuff in the goat pen and that's with the bobcat and then i got out my 52 8n in um videoed myself. I took it down the driveway all the way to, it's only like a quarter mile, all the way to my mailbox down my driveway and all the way back. And that was the highlight of my day. I don't know if you guys saw my uh, community page. If I put it on there or my Instagram or Facebook, but it was a picture of the old seat 
from my grandpa's tractor, and that just makes my heart so happy. Uh, Jocelyn, oh, so cute, Miss Goats. I'm here because Annie Ann said your live was coming up. Simple life or claim that one day. So thanks. Oh, thank you so much, Jocelyn. That's my friends, Mel, Gary, and Annie. Is she going to start dancing? <laughs> Island View, I actually named one of our sheep Bambi. All of them um, have names. Should I tell you their names on my next video? Yeah, do it. That'd be great. Pafford said, hello, it's Brandy. Shh. Y'all did not see me. Okay, you must be at work. Uh, Charlie's on here too, Brandy. Oh, Ed's at his orientation for his new job right now, so we got to be quiet too for Ed. Jocelyn said, Island View, yes, people love to know details about your animals. Yes, so I will tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to do a meet and bleat um, pretty soon. I probably shouldn't tell you that, but oh well, we're all friends um, with all my goats. And I'm going to like introduce you to each one. I know you see them all the time and some of them have names and some of them don't, but had a lot go on in the past few months with goats that you all know about if you um, have been around for a while, but I'm going to do a meet and bleat. So that's going to be one of my videos. Um, so I'm going to do a video on the quail. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got, Jeremy got me these free 55 gallon drums, the big blue ones. There's so many things I can do with that. That's going to be a video. Um, most important to my heart right now is getting the greenhouse done, but that's some other stuff that I've got going on and sitting on the burner. Uh, greenhouse, we're going to do the power washing and the paint. We're going to do the windows and the caulking. We're going to do um, painting and finishing the trim on the windows after they're up. We're going to do, I'm going to do a video on a tour and then I'm going to do a video on making interior shelves. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then on the gluten-free stuff, I've got, we, we got this pasta um, in the mail and we've gotten lots of uh, bars, some gluten-free keto bars that Jeremy's really enjoying. And then we've got um, some flowers from Bob Mills and from Otto's that I need to make stuff and share with you guys. And then I think I shared the other day for Longhurst Farms, they make um, sprouted almonds. So what it is, you know, the almond naturally has enzymes to let it keep for a year or so on the shelf, right? It's just something naturally that God put in there. A sprouted almond is one that's water is added where it is about to sprout. Well, when it sprouts, it creates a tree. It creates additional greenery. Um, it releases that enzyme so it doesn't keep as long, but it opens up and makes it more, not opens up, it changes the dynamic inside the almond to make it more digestible and more nutritious because it doesn't have that enzyme to keep it shelf life. It opens it up like it's about to grow a tree. So, and it is amazing. Let me show you. I am not, you guys, all this stuff, I am not um, sponsored by them. They are not paying me. I have free samples of stuff, and I'm trying it in return for telling you guys about it, if I love it or if I hate it or what, but I don't know if you can see it all. So they're like sprouted alm almonds, Longhurst Farms. I'll tell you what my favorite is, is this trail mix. I don't know if you can see it. It is so good. It fills you up with just like two handfuls. And then you don't even want to eat dinner. It's so good for you. This is all sprouted stuff. They also make this like almond butter. They don't have social media. So whenever I'm like trying to help promote them because I love them. Um, but if you go to their website and want to purchase or try out any of their samples or whatever like that. Um, if you type in the word ranch, R-A-N-C-H, like for Paragon Ridge Ranch um, at checkout. They'll send you a free gift. So that'll be cool. If any of you want to try that, if you're um, trying to eat healthier or be more nutritious or actually have problems digesting. Hey, Cassie with Walker Farm Fam. Good to see you. Yeah, meeting the ghost. Yes, Anian. So that's going to be in a future video um, once I get a lot of the uh, greenhouse stuff done. Cassie, how is your week going? We're just talking about our week and what to look forward to and some videos that are going to be coming out. Oh, Tom and Rhonda are sub to Boots and Bounty. Thank you so much. Annie Ann, I mean, like, it's so good. And the ones next to it are chocolate pomegranate covered uh, sprouted almonds. Like, oh, so good. So good. Bye, Narrowways. I guess he's leaving. Bye. See you later. Boots and Bounty says, I have also messaged you the other day for some wheat stuff I earned. Just curious. I read that for a second, but I was in the middle of something. I need to go back. Casey, I need to go back to your email. Yes, it was about like ancient grains and um, different recipes for Jeremy. That is so awesome, you guys. So that's what 
we have going on and like the different um, snack bars and stuff. I'll share those. I'm just going to throw them in here and there with you. Um, did any of you try the hot sauce on your chicken feed or any of the other ingredients like garlic, ginger, and oregano? Did anyone else try that besides um, me and Chitty? Did anybody else try that? Okay, so just me and Lazy C tried it. Um, oh, little Frenchie. Okay, so Lazy C has tried it. We talked about it earlier. Um, she has not gotten any eggs yet. I got eggs on day nine, and then I, I have a uh, Facebook page. That's hi. I didn't know where you were this whole time. Let Burger girl out to go pee pee, please. I am. Um, I have a Facebook page that's like mine. It's called Broken Arrow Backyard Chicken. Broken Arrow. It's all about like local backyard chicken stuff. Anyways, I put video on there and I have someone that was on there. They were on day five and they got nine eggs that day. She loved the video and she did exactly what I said and she got nine eggs. So that's amazing. That was so awesome. Uh, doing a great busy week of basketball. Yes. Thank God Parker's the only one in basketball. Um, Cassie, because he had a game on Thursday with uh, Summit, Summit Christian a downtown Broken Arrow, but you know, once a week is good, but I couldn't imagine if I had more than one kid in any kind of sports. I'm not a sports mom. Like I used to be a baseball mom and then they went to racing and now um, I don't miss traveling everywhere. Yes. He had shorts on Annie Ann. He's not in his underwear anymore. I guess he was in my room watching TV or something. Uh, not for eggs, but as an herbal remedy for the sour crop. Okay, cool. Boots and Bounty. I didn't know that you can use that kind of stuff for the sour crop. Uh, little Frenchie Big Texas had some chicks with pasty butt, so I was trying medicated feed and probiotics. If you have any other home medication, I don't. Um, so pasty butt, I probably would never treat with medication or certain kinds of food. Pasty butt is caused by a couple different things. It's caused by like too cold or too hot um, under the heat lamp. I just, whenever I see it, because I, you know, you walk by your brooder a couple times a day and you check them, but um, I take them, I put their backside under the warm water, running warm water, and I slowly just, sorry, I can't see my hands. I slowly just do that. Or I'll take a paper towel or a tissue or something and I'll just slowly until it gets each layer of the pasty bit away until I can see their little booty hole. Um, and then I dry them because they get really cold or I might blow dry them and then put them back. Gosh, my nose, you guys. Jean Acklin, I'm done now with work now. Yay, Jean! Little Frenchie, I clean them. Hi, what's your name? You want to come up here? Oh my God, you guys. Somebody just woke up and wants to see the mom. Rook, I can't see the TV. I know, I know. Far North, hello from Alaska. Hello. That is so awesome. How's the weather up in Alaska? Ruger, I can't. Bobo. I don't want because of the bubble. Here, I hold you like this, okay? I hold you like this. Roomba. Roo. Guys, do you have Boston Terriers? He is such a love. Stop. I'm going to have to let you down. I'm going to have to let you down. Can I say hi to everybody? Look, stop. No kisses. No kisses. No. Stop. He's got a liquor problem. His liquor is broken. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Oh, yeah, Charlie, he's big. Say hi, everybody. You want to show them that you could speak sweetly? You want to show them sweetly? Don't kiss me. Ruger, sweet, sweet, speak, 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 sweetly, speak sweetly, speak sweetly. Sweet, do sweet. Sweet, sweet, speak sweet. Okay, you're done. You're a good boy. Oh, see you, brothers. Sorry. He's a good boy. He's huge. Yeah, he's like 30 pounds. I always say, that's not the Boston Terrier I wanted. I wanted the 10-pound one. He's huge. This is like a tight-knit community, Island View Farms. I uh, got to go get stuff done. Have a great Bye, Lila. Love you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow or so. We all help each other. So Island View Farms, um, it might feel like a tight-knit community, it's not, um, I would say that there's some people in the YouTube community that are clicky, just like any 
group of people would be. And what I mean by clicky is not a bad thing. They just seem to gather together most of the time, just them or go live, just them, um, which is always great. I mean, it doesn't matter to me if they're clicky, they're just really good friends. But then there's other people. I, I don't feel that I am. There's other people like me and I would probably honestly, um, well, I'm not going to say somebody else that we just love everybody. We just try to love and help everybody in however that might be by watching, by subbing, by talking about them, just by being friends and watching their videos. Hi, Parker. He's just waking up, you guys, because he's a sleepy kid. Come say hi, boys. Say hi to everybody. Walker says Rangers age isn't playing um, at our school this year. It's only varsity playing. Playoffs are starting, so it's almost finished. Yay! Okay, bye. See you later, Cass. Uh, Gene said no, he can't hold his liquor. <laughs> uh, I once had a Boston Terrier. I loved him dearly. My neighbor. Oh, God. That's horrible. And you are not. You always speak to me. Oh, Gene, thanks. Yeah, so, I mean... I don't think I'm, like Jean was saying, I'm not clicky. I like everybody and I love everybody. Um, some people, like in their lives or in their comments and stuff, only talk to certain people. Um, that's their prerogative. Honestly, I don't care what they do. Um, that's their life, not mine. It's not my business. So, Paffords, we can't wait to meet up and see y'all. Yes. Yes, me too. I'm so excited. No offense, Charlie. I'm more excited to see Autumn. But whatever. That just happens with babies. You having cereals? I spooked Tom Tom so bad. Don't spook Tom Tom. He's been sitting at my window listening to me and talking to me this whole time. Um, how often do you guys go live? I want to sub to some new channels. Oh, Far North Life from Alaska. I try to go live once a week in the evening when Jeremy's home. And we usually go for an hour. Sometimes we all, like everyone on here, we get to laughing and talking about some weird, odd stuff. And it goes longer um oh see like right now i'm over an hour i don't even pay attention to the time sometimes and then i try personally like me when i'm at home um through the week to go at 12 o'clock on mondays and that central time i'm in oklahoma and it's just i love the lunch break time at on mondays at 12 because there's a lot of people that are available and not at home and busy that can get in and we have really good conversations we could all focus on each other and it's just a little less chaotic is my feeling so we could all talk um and actually carry conversations about specific things on my evening one. There's a lot of people and I try to comment or say, or, or visually see their comments, but sometimes there's just too much going on or too much laughing or too much talking that I miss people. And that's okay. Cause that's what happens on live. I mean, if you have 50 people on there, it's really hard to have a conversation with 50 people, but we try our best and we all understand um, if we can or can't get to each other's lazy. See, I try to talk to everyone. It's not too hard when I usually have four to five. Right? Four to five would be um, easy to have a conversation with. Hello, Jess. How are you? Keto Homestead with Jess is on here. Hello. Um, Jean says, I always feel welcome. I'm not a YouTuber, just a watcher. Right. So we have tons of people that are just our friends in the YouTube community that are not creators. I say creator and then you said watcher, Jean. That's funny, a watcher. Um, Annie Ann said, um, Paragon Ridge Ranch is one of the very best channels out there. Oh, I love you, Annie Ann. I try my Alabama farm life. You keep on talking. I'm playing. I'm playing. Wow. Otherwise I have to get up and work. Oh, <laughs> okay. I will. My Alabama farm life. Um, Pafford said hi to far North life. Island view farms. Very true at Annie Ann. Pafford said hi to Jess. Everyone say hi to Jess. Jess, I was just talking about, um, some keto bars that I have. Um, and then some sprouted almonds that I um, am sampling. Um, like I said, I'm not, paid it's not um, a paid for advertisement or anything like that it's just they sent me some samples and i said that i would try them and talk about them kind of like a review um but anyways so what do you guys have going on this week i know we're past an hour but we've got we still got 28 people in here and i think i went over everything that i wanted to go over i'm looking at my notes you guys oh i just thought of something Okay, no one else has commented. So I wanted to tell you, I was on a live last night with um, Shake a Leg and Bake It. Where are they? Oh, 
and it was so cool because it was I was on her live and you know, I'll turn you chime in and talk to people on their lives and stuff. But sometimes when there's too many people, people not a creeper and far away from you, I feel like I'm part of y'all down south. Yeah, Jean, you are. Um, you know, I listen, I watch, and all that. And then if I have something to say or help, be helpful, I you know I'll comment and hope that they see it. Um, some bigger channels don't see it, and that's fine. I don't like keep trying to talk to them. But so she on Shake Leg and Bake It um, Homestead, she was looking for some California Wonder, and I have some California Wonder pepper plants. And these are um, given to me by Salon Girl, so I'm going to share some of these seeds with her. She loves them and she can't find them. And then she wanted some red bell peppers and I can only find some sweet, small red bell peppers from Walterman Homestead. So I'm going to share those with her. But her number one thing that she absolutely wanted, I can't, I can't find it right now, was the Genovese basil. She said she loved it. It was prolific. She had it growing everywhere. And she made tons of pesto. She said her last pesto was in the refrigerator that she had made from last year, but she did not keep any seeds from it. So I have wherever it is you guys look up i don't know if you can see all my seats here but so i was going through my stuff looking for that genevieve basil and i had it okay i had it last night i don't know what i did with it but i have it and i'm gonna send her some um, i'm gonna try to get to the post office today and get the medicines out so that's just another thing and another suggestion if you guys do any gardening i know some people get kind of deep into it right now like i am greenhouse gardening all that stuff but that's just my life like Everything revolves around um, so many different subjects on the homestead. But um, anyways, so I have something I can share with her. I don't know her. I just met her yesterday. I've been subbed to her channel for a while, but I'm so happy to help. And it just costs a stamp, you guys. So talking about community and love and helping people, I have a basil and a pepper that she has searched everywhere. Because if you're planting um, your garden, you will know that MI Gardener's out of everything. Baker's Creek is out of everything. So we could all get together. That's a great live. Doing a little seed share or starting a new little video on seed sharing. So that's just some um, examples of things that you can do in the community to help each other. Annie Ann said she's boring, so not much going on with her. Lazy Seed Home said, my hubby, my hubby has a huge project he's working on for me. Well, I better get moving. I'll never get this video done. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. Uh, to Lazy Sea Homestead. I could only imagine what um, the projects are because you got that project book for your birthday and you had a lot of great ideas and things that you wanted, uh, like beehives and coops and tables and all kinds of stuff that I remember. Um, so have a good day. Bye, Kristen. Oh, thank you, Keto with Jess. Um, yes, so it's just another way that you guys could share it with each other. Sweet Pea, where's Sweet Pea? There she is. Hi, Sweet Pea Farm, New York. Good to see you. Uh, Far North Life, do you homeschool? I don't. So with 2020 being such a crazy year, the kids are on distance learning a lot. They have been um, back to school for two weeks, I think, since the end of November. But they are off on Mondays. They have four four day um, school weeks. So they go Tuesday through Friday here. It's a small community in rural Oklahoma. Everyone's saying hi to Sweet Pea Farms. Betty Nacer, hello. Greetings from BC, Canada. I've lost 50 pounds on keto. Well, hi, Betty. Congrats to you. Make sure that you go out to um, Keto Homestead with Jess, J-E-S-S. -S. She is so helpful with all that keto eating um make sure you go and, and like her page and talk with her little frenchie and big test is or school closed because of covid no so no it's because mondays they're off on mondays my alabama farm life has eggplant seeds if anyone wants them i love eggplant parm you guys um gary and cindy with pathways were talking last night on their live they make pizzas out of their eggplant so they cut it you know like a slice and then they make a pizza on it and they eat it that is so good that would be really good for Jeremy um, without the gluten. As far as keto, Jess, I don't know if lots of people that eat keto um, also don't do nightshades. And I think eggplant's a nightshade. But we love eggplant around here. A little cold and very windy today. Staying in. Um, that's my Alabama farm life. Yep. Let's see. Far uh, North Life. Which state are you all from? Oh, sorry for all the questions. No problem. That's what we're here for. We're, I'm in Oklahoma, so I'm 30 miles south of Tulsa. And let's see here. Oh, gosh. So upstate New York, it's it's a, a 18 degrees up there. That's disgusting. So Island View says it's 12, negative 12 Celsius. So what would that be Fahrenheit? 
very, very cold. <laughs> That's what that would be. So that would be very, very cold. What, 30 degrees maybe or less? <coughs> Boots and Bounty. I'm trying the new white eggplants this year. Um, Don't know about those. So I'm thinking uh, you might be sending me a couple seeds of that. <laughs> that would be so awesome, Casey. Okay, 41, but I'm in Florida, girl. Oh, Florida. Sweet pieces, 20, uh, boots and bounty, 20 ish. So, garden, uh, gardening in North is negative 13 in Ontario, Canada. Let me just go to MisoNet and see where we are because I need to get out there. And I think power wash because Jeremy showed me how to use power wash today. So, it's 47, feels like 44, and wind gusts of nine, which is great because wind gusts were 36. Preston, stop. Preston, stop. They got a new flashlight to go coyote hunting. Um, they get special permission from the game warden sometimes. So he loves his new flashlight. Uh, Far North Life says, I'm only 20 at 24. It's going to be my first official year of greenhouse gardening. Well, I'm excited. I will follow your journey, Far North Life, because it's going to be my first year of greenhousing too. Um, greenhousing, that sounds so great, doesn't it? But like I was saying earlier, I don't think you were in here. I've got to paint it, put up the vintage windows, do the roof, all that kind of good stuff. So Spanish Home said, we are doing a collaboration video with a YouTuber in Cyprus called Project Morph. I haven't heard of that. That's a cool name. Um, it's to try and get as many YouTubers from around the world together. Could be worth a, worth a look at. I wonder how... Um, the organization structure of how to get people together is... Are you talking about um, a collab video to have a meetup or a collab video. Preston, please, Bob, stop. That's not nice, you don't do that. They got a new massager for Jeremy's back. He just walked up and touched me with it. It's kind of weird. Starting in the north, one degree colder. Jocelyn, uh, building the Daniels, not leaving yet, just getting ready while listening. Thank you, Jocelyn, I do that too. Um, don't make the dog bark, please. The kids are up, and it starts getting crazy around here. Hey, Preston, why don't you unload the dishwasher? Okay, they ran into the bedroom. Um, 45 feels like 41. Yep, Annie, I think that's what mine said. Something very close to that. Uh, Jess with Keto Home said with Jess says, awesome. Can't wait for uh, to – can't wait to, one, have a greenhouse, but can watch you all till I get – me too, Jess. I'm so excited. So it's kind of nice out right now. Let me see here. Finally have the sun up. Um, it's very exciting. I'll show you guys my greenhouse if this stays on Wi-Fi. If you guys want to see it, I've been waiting to power wash it. <laughs> Chill out, guys. Are you still there? Can you all see me? There's my welcoming committee. Turkey and two dogs. Tom, Tom. Okay. I'm having trouble seeing because of the glare. Okay, see my truck? Right behind my truck, right there. And there's Tom Tom. There's Tom Tom. Say hi, Tom Tom. <laughs> there's Bear. He's a good boy, Bear. No more. Anyways, that's how far it is from the house, and that's where my barn is. I hope you all get to see it. Oh, yeah, nice sky. It's kind of hazy. Um, I've learned that when you're showing people stuff, you just point where you really would point, and I'll show you. So right there is ORU, which is um, in South Tulsa, and then like straight north. I mean like straight north. I don't know if you can see there's two little white towers right to the right of it. It's downtown Tulsa. So we're up on this mountain, as you can see. It's not a big mountain, but it's still a mountain. Bye, I love you. Hi, Bobo. Anyways, we have the most beautiful view. Yes, baby. Oh, I love you more. Anyways, that was our little field trip. No, he can't go upstairs. He'll fall on. Well, if you bring a baby, he could sit on the couch. Here you have a baby. Well, help him up the stairs then. What? How much time Rhonda says it's about 51 there. Uh, Jess says, beautiful. Wish it looked like that in Ohio. Hey, it's been disgusting for like a week, Jess, so I'm happy. It was, my feet are cold. It was windy, but. Uh, gardening in the north. What time is it there in Oklahoma? It's 2.25 p.m. here. 1.25. So only an hour difference. 
It's 345 in Newfoundland, uh, Newfoundland, Canada. So, yes, so you're two hours ahead up in Canada. Keto says we have a blanket of white stuff. Yes, I would love a blanket of white stuff, except it takes so long for the mud to go away afterwards. Our mud is finally just drying up. I still have pooled water I see out there um, from last week. It rained a lot, I think three days. Spanish Homestead, it's a collaboration video with New, Beginner, New Beginners in Rural Life in Cyprus. Their video will be, uh, will explain it a bit better. So Spanish Homestead, um, I have my email on, on my about page. If you get a chance, send me some information or maybe uh, a list of some of the names so I can look into it and uh, at least share it with everyone if I don't want to join. Um, I'm personally joining a collaboration that's going to start in a week or so. I'm not going to mention who is in it or what it's about, but I'm very excited. Um, they need to announce it because it's for their page or for their channel. So um, be looking for that. That's going to be really awesome collaboration. And there is an awesome uh, door prize, I guess I'll say. Um, there's awesome prize, awesome, awesome, awesome prize. Um, if you guys join us on that, that's going to be awesome. And I'll share that on a live and I'll share that on some videos and stuff, but it'll be another week or so before that happens. Yes, Annie Ann says 125 in Oklahoma. Our mud is still here, Annie Ann. You know, I have gravel, but there's so many low areas that are just all mud. So it's like, you know, I'm the mom that goes to the school with the mud, like leaving the mud clods all behind her. I go to the mall or the store and there's mud on my boots. There's nothing I could do about it. I mean, it's just as bad as the gravel road. And up and down and they're always dirty. Jeremy like took an hour Leave it, it will be dirty. Newfoundland is kind of strange and it has its own time zone. Oh, wow. Spanish Home said that's perfect. We'll do that for you. Thank you so much, Spanish Home said that'd be great. Um, if I could help you or announce it to other people and help you and whomever you're collaborating with, or possibly um, give them the opportunity to look into it and join if that's what they wanted to do. So, you guys, I've been on here for an hour and 26. I haven't eaten yet and I need to go like take care of Bambi Hope and all the animals and maybe power wash. Um, I gotta go to the post office to mail out some of this stuff. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad um, that you all did. And I hope you like the Mondays at 12. I'm gonna try to continue to do the Monday lives at 12. Um, and don't forget after this, um, give me about five to 10 to do the thumbnail um, after this. Go and watch the Osaka video and Preston's first cowboy boots video. That's like I said, it's a vlog, uh, not a how to or let me teach you something. But it's still fun to see like what goes on outside the ranch when we leave and things that we do and how the kids are and all that fun stuff in Tulsa. Um, but yeah, give me a few minutes. And if you haven't already, if you if you uh, do subscribe. When you hit that alert bell, it should message you either by email or text or just kind of like this, like a little thing. This person had a video out earlier today. When I sit home, you know, sit down tonight after dinner, I want to watch it. So it's kind of a little little reminder. It works really well. So bye, Island View Farms. So good to see you. Enjoy the afternoon chat, Sharon. Uh, me too. Spanish Homestead, see you soon. Off to make dinner. Yes. I haven't even thought about dinner tonight. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Mwah. Love you. See you soon.